So digitalization. Starting with a definition, and the reason I start with a definition is because uh, we at EFT have had a bit of a de debate. Is it digitalization or digitization? Uh, it turns out there's actually a pretty significant difference. So digitalization is effectively the process of moving to a digital business, whereas digitization is just going from analog to digital. And I think that that's a very significant uh, difference there because digitalization is what's changing the business. Digitization is what made the iPod big, basically. <laughs> um, so what are some of the indicators why digitalization is, is, is becoming this hot topic this year? So the who has changed. And by that I mean the companies that we're seeing in this conference that we're speaking to has completely changed. So in, two, uh, in 2015, there was $2.5 billion invested in uh, supply chain uh, startups. A year later, $5 billion. Um, and if you look at some of the players that are getting involved, uh, it's a lot of non-traditional industry-specific companies, which is quite interesting to see. Uh, here's just a list of 150 of them. A lot of them, obviously, we, we see here at the conference, uh, but that's only some. There's a lot more. Um, and they're opening, uh, they're, they're starting new businesses in brand new solution areas. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's automation happening, there's software, there's technology uh, being, being embedded into all sorts of facets of the industry. And uh, it's just fascinating to see what people are finding room to intermediate or disintermediate in, terms, in, in order to provide value to customers in this industry. Um, and the change has been absolutely epic. So, effectively, the future is here. We asked our audience, what do you perceive of tech-driven logistics companies, just as a segment of, of digitalization? Um, and the majority said they're the future of the industry. So, I mean, it, we just have to walk around the expo hall, basically, to see that the future is effectively here. So, the what's changed, as in uh, what businesses are focusing on has changed. Um, so we asked our supply chain audience as well as our logistics audience separately their top priorities that are driving investment this year. And a quick glance at them and you see that technology and digital is really rising to the top of that priority list. Um, so that's starting to now define company strategy. Another example, so 71% of logistics providers have increased their IT budgets every year since 2014. Um, again, digital is becoming a uh, competitive differentiator, it's becoming a key way for businesses to compete in the industry. Um, and how, the how has changed, how companies are, are uh, tackling business has changed as well. So uh, we asked our audience to rank a number of steps in order of importance for driving digital transformation within their businesses. And what was interesting here is the fourth one was just changing the overall strategy. So it's almost that digital transformation and overall strategy, they're, they're almost becoming synonymous in a way. They're becoming very intertwined. Um, and we also asked, uh, given current tech advances, how has your strategy shifted? Uh, just to better understand, uh, you know, how has that overall strategy changed given these recent pressures? And so 43% said that they had increased agility uh, in response. And then the second highest answer was uh, an increased focus on speed. And obviously those are two very, very uh, inherently uh, uh, factors that are really important for digital. That's what they provide. They, they're all about speed, agility, you know, other things would be accuracy and things like that. Um, and on average, again, budgets are, are going up. So uh, on average, companies have increased their budgets by 42 percent. Um, in response to digitalization. So customer centricity, the second trend that we saw everywhere this year. Um, it's taking over. This, this chart's a bit of a lie in the sense that it's only two data points, so obviously it looks very extreme, but effectively more and more companies are defining themselves on being customer centric rather than product centric. Um, and that's making its way into all facets of the business. Um, so we did a study on customer experience in last mile with Convey. Uh, Convey are here as well, so you can speak to them a little bit further on that. But there are some interesting statistics that came out of that, which is 
basically how much retailers are focusing on customer experience uh, all the way end-to-end uh, end effectively. Um, if you look at e-commerce, of course, uh, a brick-and-mortar store is a very easy place to control the customer experience, whereas when someone goes online, there's so many different players that have to work together to make that customer experience uh, seamless, and that includes the last mile. So there you go. Um, and non-traditional is now becoming customer-facing. So we asked our IT executive audience, um, uh, how often do you work directly with a customer? Uh, and it's remarkable. You're looking at over 50% of them are working uh, with customers on at least a weekly basis. So even a traditional back office position is now customer facing. So this begs the question, what are some of the next big trends that we're gonna see? What, what are we gonna be talking about here next year? Um, so I'm just gonna quickly go over three, three ones that we're tracking, uh, and specifically because they're showing a little bit of uh, progress in terms of achieving that tipping point in the industry where they might actually catch a hold uh, and, and start to redefine how we're doing business. So blockchain. Um, I guess what's interesting here is we asked this question in Q4 of 2016, so not that long ago. Um, are you engaging with blockchain in any way? And companies uh, mostly said no. Fast forward to, I think the survey was two, three weeks ago. Uh, you're looking at the majority of companies now are saying that they are engaging with blockchain in, blockchain in some way. One of the key barriers with blockchain has been the fact that there's private blockchains and there's public ones. And for a public one to actually function, you need to have enough adopters so that there's a, a tipping point so that they can integrate with each other, they can communicate with each other using that platform. Um, you know, data interchange is the top impact that blockchain could have on supply chain. Um, so it requires a huge number of adopters for it to actually go anywhere. Um, so maybe we're seeing enough progress on that uh, to get to that point. You know, we're only at uh, 50, 60 percent, so not quite there, but we might start seeing this as a major, major topic in a year or two. Chatbots. Um, I know at least me for one has had to speak to a number of chatbots when dealing with companies in recent time. Um, and it's a great way of you know, speaking to customer experience. So we talked about that a little bit earlier, but we're starting to see how that's gonna manifest itself into technology, et cetera. Um, so again, Q4 2016, the vast majority of people were not looking at them in any capacity. Whereas fast forward to a few weeks ago and people are considering it as you know, something that they need to possibly include uh, in their business. Um, obviously, customer service is a big area, but just general communication is also going to be um, a, an area that could be impacted by it. You know, even internal communication, just uh, all those touch points there. Um, so lastly, automation. I don't mean just, you know, automating things, obviously, because uh, that's been a big issue for, for a number of years now, but sort of the adverse impact of automation. So. We asked our audience straight up, um, is automation going to lead to job losses? Is, is, is it sort of the beginning of the singularity, if you will? Um, and I guess, I mean, a lot of people are automating, so it's a big question for them. But a lot of, most people see it as an opportunity for more jobs, uh, for increasing the business effectively. So, so that was quite interesting. Um, but obviously, uh, as... Uh, Workforces transform over the next few years as, as hiring of, of more digital staff, et cetera, becomes uh, more common. Uh, this is gonna be a question that comes up again and again. So what keeps who up at night? So just a very quick snippet of who our audience is. So 53% is director level and above. 72% uh, influence their organization's B2B spending. Uh, and 67% engage with EFT at least once a month. So I just wanted to end with, I mean, the future of supply chain is here. Um, and if you wanted to hear more about any of these trends or if you wanted some uh, help keeping pace with some of them, just give us a shout. Thank you.